Welcome back. In this session, I'll walk you through how to install Azure Data Studio and connect to our SQL database from Azure Data Studio and work with it. You can come over to this URL here to download Azure Data Studio. It gives you clear instructions on which file to download for your operating system. I've already downloaded Azure Data Studio and installed the application as well. So let me open that. So this is Azure Data Studio. The first thing we want to do is to connect to our database server. In order to do that, you come over here and click New and choose New Connection. It opens up this window on the right hand side and we need to give the details about our server, username and password. So let's choose the connection type as Microsoft SQL Server. And we want to give the server details. So let's go over to our Azure portal and grab the server details from there. So if you go over to the overview tab of your database, you will see the server name on the right hand side here. So let me copy that and let me go over to the data studio again and I'm going to paste it here. So we can leave the authentication type as a SQL login because that's what we chose rather than the Microsoft Intra ID login. And let's give the username and the password we created. My username was ADM and let me key in the password as well. Now leave everything as is and click connect. You can give a name for our connection here if you wanted to, but otherwise, just click connect. So we've now successfully connected here. And you will get two database over here, COVID DB and master database. The green here indicates that the connection is successful and it's listing all the tables and views and everything here. So it's a much nicer interface than what we saw within our Azure portal. So in order to run a query, you come over to new query here and then you can type in the query. But before running the query, make sure that you select the COVID DB database. So let's run the same query that we run previously, which is select asterisk from sys.all underscore objects. As you could see, it was helping me out and nicely guiding me through the query when I was writing it. So those are the nicer features you would get from a desktop application. So let me click on run to run the query and that's got back the results for us. From here, you can download the results. You can plot charts and all of that kind of cool stuff with them. So mainly it's got things like IntelliSense and you can debug your queries. You can also do other things like formatting the code, etc. So as I said before, either I would go for Azure Data Studio or use the SQL Server Management Studio in order to interact with the SQL database because they are better options than just using the portal. So that's the end of this session. I'll see you in the next one.